How we didn't die is beyond me. Let's open it and we'll show you. Oh, it still stinks. Right, a few days ago, Emma opened the door of the van. Oh, it wasn't good. The van absolutely stank. I thought idiot boy had been cleaning it with TCP or Dettol. Do you know that? Like, but it is like burnt, smell of fish, disgusting. So I get the blame. Start calling me names because I've been cleaning the van the day before. I wasn't calling you names. I just asked you if you had because it stank. Calling me names. Anyway, anyway, get me um, snout out, didn't I? Yeah, like a badger I was sniffing. More like a little anyway, hog doesn't when they matter. go sniffing for doesn't, truffles. Doesn't matter. Truffles. <laughs> we were like a pair of lunatics because it wasn't Dettol or cleaning material. It was cable. Um, I've smelt enough bad cable to know when cable's gone bad, or at least plastic has melted. We like loonies, aren't we? Yeah, we had to do a whole van search. This yeah. is just before we're going away as well, by the way. Literally, we were going away that day. So the hunt began. We looked everywhere. Firstly, we took all this down, started looking behind here. Wasn't that, was it? No. So again, let's take all this off, have a look at the cables behind, see if anything was burning. No! Negative, wasn't that either. Right, next place was the boot. Mmm, climbed in the boot. And that's where the problem started. Mmm. Our MPPT used to sit there. This one right here. Now, we did do an Instagram post about this because we found where the smell was. Now, first of all, you seen the front of it was looking a bit manky. Not good, is it? Not meant to be like that. Now, we took the thing off. Because we were um, having a conversation with Alex Frews. A couple of days later, we'd seen the problem, we'd solved the problem, we disconnected it. Basically, isolating the solar from the van. No more issues, no more smell, no more nothing. The unit itself was quite warm, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very warm to the touch. He's saying quite warm. It was very warm to not, the touch. Not barely hot, but quite warm. How we didn't die is beyond me. Now, when you see the inside of this, you'll realise that we must have been this close to actually and possibly being dead. We had previously been away in the van for a couple of days, not an issue. I think losing the van would have probably been the least of a bad situation. How we got away with this. Just so glad the girls weren't in there or us and we just hadn't got onto it. No. It, yeah. I, I don't even know how we've got away with it. And we've spoken to a few people, we've spoken to people who have got these controllers. There was nothing that we had done to this unit to make it do what it did. It would been working for how long? Nearly two years now. Yeah, yeah nearly two. Coming up two years, so. Not an issue with it at all, no problem. We got solar, it was perfect, kept the batteries running fine. But then, all of a sudden, boom. That's not what, what you want out of a product. Let's open it and we'll show you. Now, you can also see on the top of it, there is discoloration. Um, this unit, at some point during whatever has gone wrong with it, has actually been on fire. Yeah. Like, it, it has been on fire. It has been flames. Yeah, they're definitely, 100%. Right, we're going to open it up now. If you've got one of these units, you are going to be in for a massive, massive shock. You ready? Oh, it still stinks. That is the inside. So, as you can see, that has, a, that has just, it's been on fire. For the fact that there's actual drippings, I mean, that is still wet. And this stuff, honestly, that just absolutely stinks. Um, the strange thing about it, it's got two 40 amp fuses right there. We tested these the other day. Both of them fuses are still intact. Um, look, it just, it's just melted absolutely everything um yeah it's just we don't know we don't know what has happened to it now i did email phonetic universe about this problem i'm not happy with the response at all no basically they've turned around and said um they've never seen anything like this before they said that it looks like a catastrophic error or problem with the board for that to happen um normally you do get people that 
put them in, put the cables in at the bottom. So they put the cables under the bottom right there and wires may touch and things like that. As you can tell, there is no discoloration on the bottom of this board. This was wired in perfect. It was well within the parameters. It was working perfectly. There was no issue with it at all, but yet that happened. There wasn't even an apology in the email for me though. That's, that's the thing. I mean, when you've got something that's an electrical fault that could have set your van up in flames, mm. at least say, oh dear, we are sorry. Yeah, it, there was there was nothing in the email, and I, I I could put the emails on screen, and I could. But we're not going to. The, the the fact of the matter is, we know we have emailed them. We know they have emailed us back, and they know that as well. Right, we need a new solar controller. So after putting it on Instagram, first people to reach out to us. Twelve volt planet. Mm. Craig, straight on the air, old Instagrams. What's gone on? We'd sent him the video. We'd showed him what had gone on, and he was like, wow, we've never seen anything like that before. So, in their good nature, they turned around and said, we've got the right thing for you. It's going to be in this box. And I just say as well, Craig, not all, not all heroes wear capes. True. So, we're going blue. Yeah, we got the 130. Also, if you do have one of those units, the Phonetic Universe units or the MP Ever ones, which is basically the same company, and you are worried, um, and it is a genuine concern, and it is a genuine worry, yes, there is only one unit that we know of, which is ours, that has done that to, but if it was me, I'd probably be changing mine <laughs> just off the back of seeing what happened to somebody else. I just, personally, I just wouldn't trust them. Um, I'm not saying that you should or you shouldn't. I'm saying personally, my opinion. If I'd seen somebody put a video out like this, I would be freaking out right now. Um, so, the good people at 12 Volt Planet, if you use the code Urban Solar, right there, you will get 5% off the Victron MPP controllers. Thank you very much for that, the guys at 12 Volt Planet. Bless them. So, we're going to now put this one in the back of the van, which is an easy job because two solar in, two connections to the battery, set her up on the app, jobs, jobs are good. Are good and... Go and fit it, my dear. No, that's your job. I've got other things to do today. Really? Yes. Right, you're coming with me. We're going to fit this up and we're going to set this up together, which is not really hard because it's just replacing cables, which are already there. Um, but on an absolute serious note, um, we don't know how we got away with that and we genuinely don't do we? No, it's kind of given us a bit of a jolt because we are quite safety orientated anyway because yeah, we you are. come in, you check, you check your electricals at least every four to five months. We've so. actually gone through the whole van within the last day or two checking absolutely everything, making sure that there's no discoloration on wires, there's no loose ends anywhere, there's nothing that looks like it's been loose and it's been causing a bit of an arc, nothing. We've got no problems, no issues, no, nothing at all. The battery that we got from EcoTree, that is still working perfect, all the connections on that are fine, the install on that was absolutely perfect and fine, not an issue, no problems, no breakers have gone, no fuses have gone. There was just that one problem with the MPPT controller. Um, yeah. So please, please, if you don't do anything other than go and check your electrical system right now or after this video, just do that. Just please go and check your connections because they're vans and things rattle loose, don't they? Yeah, with the movement, nothing stays still in a van, so it's more likely to come loose than yeah. it would in your house. Right, first thing you need to do is you need to get your manual because on the bottom of the MPPT controller, there's that little dial right there. That right there is a configuration of what the MPPT is going to do. So in your user's manual, you will see that when you get to configuration mode, it will list down the side there all the batteries and it gives you all the positions on what it should be on. The last position, which is number seven, is for lithium batteries. So what we're going to do is just turn this little dial to number seven. Get the unit set up properly before you install it. Okay, so now we've got it installed, it's all fixed, it's away from the battery. They do recommend that you don't have this above your battery. It's right above 
the isolation switch to the solar so we can now connect the battery to it then connect the solar to it and then turn the solar on right got all our cables in the bottom there now and you can see that the um, Victron is lighting up there for the actual Bluetooth so we're now going to connect it to the phone right got the um, Victron app open in the phone now and it's automatically detected that there's a solar controller there so we're going to click on the solar controller probably will need an update they normally do so pairing it will probably just be one two three four five six zeros at first pair the unit then change your actual code once you've done it right firmware update let's update it and we'll be back two hours later we've updated successfully right first of all we're going to go in there's another firmware update eventually firmware update done continue right now we can go and change the name so we go into the smart controller so we go into settings then we press the little three dot at the top press product info edit the name so we've called it EVA 130 solar press ok that's all done right now we can go back and we can see there's no power coming in first of all we need to turn the switch on in the back we'll do that now so we've just turned the switch on for the actual solar and we are getting 170 140 it probably will fluctuate for a bit the sun is now over the other side of the house so we're not getting any direct sunlight but it's going up and down but it shows that the unit is working fine and there's will now we are getting probably half of what the solar we should be getting but the reason for that is that the sun is over there and our van is here the solar panels are facing upwards but the sun is over in that direction hence why you need tilting solar panels again there's going to be a card on top if you want to watch our tilting solar panels go and watch it and once again a massive thanks to the guys at 12 volt planets as well the absolute lifesavers um, they were straight on to us when they seen there was a problem and don't forget urban solar get five percent off i'll leave it down there you can see it will be in the link in the description and a link to 12 volt planets in the description as well go and take advantage of it if you are extremely worried or you've got a little bit of a nag in your head about your solar controller either a get it looked at by a professional or b just change it thankfully we got away with it this time how we got away with it i don't know but we were extremely extremely lucky so somebody is definitely looking out for us there because that thing definitely went on fire at some point and don't forget putting these units in is not hard read the instructions read especially what setting your solar needs to be on um especially for the um, camper van codgers whatever you do do it well see you later